Well, now that we're heading back indoors to dine, don't be surprised if your meal moves faster than it has in the past. That's right. Fox 5's Kendall Green looks at how New Yorkers are reacting to restaurants working harder to get you out the door quicker. You're sitting at a restaurant, and the conversation is getting good, and a waiter comes by and tells you you've exceeded your time limit. I know it sounds uncommon, but it's part of a growing trend here in New York City. I don't usually stay 90 minutes at a restaurant. So you think it's uncommon to stay beyond that time? Yes, it is. So if they told you this, you would understand you said? Yes, I would. Luckily for this customer, imposing a 90 minutes dining limit wouldn't be the worst news. But for a few of her peers who have sat in her spot, the new change of pace could take some adjusting to. They were here almost four hours. This happened last week. Hassan Signort, the managing partner at Serena's, has seen that 90 minutes evolve into almost half the typical work shift firsthand. But of course, as business owners work to manage their reputations as friendly and accommodating, enforcing that time limit gets a little muddy. When we need the tables, but we don't get the table, we can't tell people to leave. We will never do that. Multiple guests overstaying their welcome adds up for business owners, taking into account the rising cost of food and supplies, paying employees, that time is quite literally money. With spring blooming, Serena's expects their number of guests every night to pick up with the warmer temperatures, but they won't have to physically keep their That's own tabs on their guests' time in the restaurant. I don't think any of this surprises me or, or is uh, a bother to my day to day. Emma Orlo reports on the New York's restaurant scene daily, but says this isn't a New York specific issue. I think you're seeing it in cities all around the country. Um, I would guess it's happening more at restaurants that um, maybe are a little bit pricier or trendier. The only worry for Senor is if enforcing the new measure will result in negative reviews. Because we try to do really our best as a business owners. You know, we want to represent this place as a good neighborhood place. Kendall Green, Fox 5 News.